ladies and gentlemen i give you a warm welcome on anatomy introduction so my name is mr shadrach habumremi i'm the one who is going to show you all this video about anatomy introduction you wonder what is anatomy anatomy actually is the study of the structures of the human body let's see the types of anatomy the first type of anatomy is gloss anatomy or macroscopic anatomy this is the anatomy that you can see with your naked eye then the second is microscopic anatomy this is the anatomy that you see using a microscope so it is the opposite of macroscopic or gross anatomy that you can see with your naked eyes so we can't escape without saying about embryology embryology is another kind of anatomy studies that deal with development of the embryos Good. let's see part of gross anatomy or parts of macroscopic anatomy the first part is surface anatomy or superficial anatomy is the study of external anatomical features without dissection then regional anatomy it focuses on specific external and internal regions of the body then systemic anatomy is the study of different organ systems such as respiratory system or nervous system good now let's see part of microscopic anatomy Dosal cytology, study of cells, then histology, the study of tissues. Good. Now let's see what we call anatomical position. In anatomy, a person doesn't stand anyhow. There is anatomical position. Let's start with the head. The head has to face in front, then arms have to be at the side then the hands palm have to face in front then the feet have to be closer or slightly apart and then the toes have to face in front good -o. this is the ideal position in anatomy we call it anatomical position in anatomy you don't stand anyhow so this is the anatomical position. So if an individual is in a good anatomical position, there is a way to name directions and positions in anatomy. So the position towards the head is called superior. Then the position or direction towards the feet is inferior. Good, let's continue with the position. Any part of the body closer to another one, we say it is proximal. If it is far from it, it is distal. So a position closer to the back, it is dorsal. The opposite, which is closer to the abdomen, it is ventral. Then the position closer to the exterior body, it is superficial then closer to the center or the body center it is deep you get me closer to the center region of the body it is deep when you go to the exterior of the body it is superficial when you go to the abdomen it is ventral then the position closer or towards the back it is dorsal then when part of the one part of the body is far away from another one we say it is distal where the other one closer to it it is proximal so if an individual is still in a good anatomical position then the front side it is anterior then the back towards the back side it is posterior then when it is towards the body center it is medial then when you move away from the body center it is lateral 
good you understand now the side which is in front it is anterior the side which is backside it is posterior then towards the body center it is medial and away from the body center it is lateral so good let me illustrate it with the the diagram good towards the head it is superior you remember then towards the feet it is inferior then towards the center of the body it is medial then away from the center of the body it is lateral good you can see let's take the elbow above the elbow we say it is superior to the elbow below the elbow it is inferior to the elbow towards the body from the elbow it is medial away from the body it is lateral good good the position in front is anterior then the position towards the back it is posterior then towards the core of the body or within the center of the body that is deep when you go to the exterior part of the body that is superficial guys let me say thank you so much for watching and be blessed that was the end of anatomy introduction there are so many things in anatomy but that was the introduction will go deep and deep and you have been with teacher Shadrach. May God bless you so much. See you again. Thank you very much for watching the introduction to anatomy. I hope you enjoyed. And please don't forget to subscribe on the channel, like the video, and share it to your colleagues. Thank you very much. May God bless you.